to break your, you know, break your firmness. And you don't have to, you know, you know, be humble, you know, be humble about it. You don't have to, you know, some folks figure that they have to fleshy and bloodly, you know, like, ah, nah, man, you know, uh, you know, even in the hip hop, they say bad boys move with silence and violence. But for I and I, as Josh's sons and daughters, we, we move with that grace and truth, right? We move with grace and truth. Can I give you this verse right here just to start us out right here on this level, my brother? Um, that's, um, that's a good question about what to say in court as well, based on uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse, verse 30, 30, I think maybe 31, 32, 33, and 4. I, I just read 34. But here in John 7 and, and 17, well, let's go back to 16 for a moment. Yeshua answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will. So as Matthew speaks to us about the will. You see, the, John chapter 7, John chapter 7, verse 17. So it says right here that if any man will do his will. See, the world way says, the worldly way says, Do what thou wilt shall be all of the law. See, that's, that's the God of this world, not the God and Father of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. According to the God and Father of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he says, Yeshua says, if any man, you're a man, I'm a man, do we seek to do his will? What does he say? He shall know of the doctrine. So if anyone is doing Jah's will, if any Rasphite say, yes, I'm doing his majesty will, well, they know of the doctrine of Yeshua. They know of the teaching of Yeshua, which is the teaching of his majesty. Otherwise, we just need to humble ourselves, stop grumbling, you understand, stop wasting our time doing a lot of the, the mindless activity because of war on for our mind, for our soul. It says, whether it, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself, he that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory. So you see, when you're on that spiritual level and you're feeling like, yes, I've got everything going on, You've got, you got to watch that because it feels good. You see, the Satan's trying to get at our feeling, you understand, our emotion. You understand? But if we are now in yoke with, with the king of kings, you know, if we're in the discipline, the yoke is a symbol of discipline, right? We learn this. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory. But he that seeketh his glory that sent him, right, the same is true. Who sent me into this world? It's, it's Abu Kedus. It's, it's the holy God and father of Jesus Christ who sent me into this world. I thank my mama and my papa, and I try to honor them as much as I can. But it's, it's Jah who sent me into this world. The same is true, and no unrighteousness in him. See, righteousness is not, a, is not what we, you know, righteousness is not of our making. That's, that's self-righteousness. Righteousness is admitting rightly, right, of the teaching of his majesty is admitting rightly and acting in grace rightly. And if we, if we fall short, you understand, we have an advocate with the Father. You understand, we can confess in our prayer. You, today, Alba, I, 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 I cursed out my homeboy or my homegirl today. This got on my nerves. I know I shouldn't have. Forgive me in the name of Jesus Christos. You know, and, and, and just do better. You understand, do better. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but confessing is important in your prayer time. You don't have to confess to man and people. But if you have true brothers and sisters, you can. But how do you know they're true? Because they seek to do the will of our Father. So this word is for them too. Did not Moses give you the law, the Torah? And yet none of you keepeth the Torah. Why go ye about to kill me? Now Christ is speaking about that particular situation. Now none of them could keep the Torah, but who kept the Torah? Who is, the, who, is the, who is the Old Testament fulfilled? It is Christ in his kingly character. It is Yeshua HaMoshiach. Now, we as sons and daughters, we begin off by learning of the doctrine, learning of the teaching. You know, it's a sin to be gluttonous. A lot of us want all spirituality and everything at one time. We want to ask your travel like tomorrow. You know, you know what I mean? But if we did, we probably would get very hurt. We probably would lose our souls on those psychical levels. The psychical is the soul. The psychical has a mind state, which is our intelligence, and the lower aspect that connects with the body. Remember, that man is a trinity. Man has spirit, which is God consciousness, but most people has a, have, have an evil spirit, and that means they're more conscious of what Satan and the world says 
than that they're conscious of the word of John according to the scripture. You know what I mean? And then there's the soul. The soul is between this. The soul is the target of the enemy, which is our psychological state. So I think this is this is just my opinion. What I've learned from the scriptures. I think that when people talk about folks who are bipolar or, or ones who have a schizophrenic nature, is that they 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 have experienced certain things in the world through their body, through their flesh, through their five senses, but they're conscious that there's a greater power than the God of this world. And, and Satan doesn't want to let them go. You know what I'm saying? So it tries to distract them. So, so they get caught up in things of the world, the lower part. You know, um, it's like with their mind, they recognize Jah. You know, they recognize God. They recognize Christ. They're seeking. But it, with their body in the world, most people are bipolar, but they don't even know it. Most people sometimes feel like a nut. Sometimes they don't. Most people are, like, kind of trying to please God and man. When we please God in Christ, then even our enemies are at peace with us. It doesn't mean that our enemy has turned into our friend, but our enemy knows that they will get maybe a physical whooping, but definitely they're going to get a spiritual whooping. You know what I mean? And there's no fear in us, come what may. Because you, you know, even if I have to lay down my body, I know I have an have eternal home. And I know that it's, it's our redemption body. It's through Christ. So we're working out the spiritual, psychological level. You understand? And we're seeking to do as best in eating that which is kosher, that which is proper. If we know that food has GMO and chemicals and a lot of stuff, right, and, and debtors, we try to abstain from that as much as, as much as possible. You know what I mean? And this is why we have to really start to come out of this and grow our own food, straight up. You know what I'm saying? We have to grow our own food. Anybody that has a garden or land, really should grow their own food. And, and I, you know, I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I got a piece of land, well, not my land, but it's my mama's, and I'm praying that she understands the necessity. And I think that she is understanding the necessity of at least grow, grow a couple of things, grow a cabbage for hard times. You understand? Know grow a couple of medicinal herbs. Save up, save up good seeds. You, you see what I'm saying? Save up good seeds because they have a lot of bad seeds out there. I, I'm not talking about spiritually, but real bad, you know, real bad seeds. So, brother, we start out with the basic teachings. I mean, fast, fast circumspectly. Don't, don't push yourself right, you know, don't, don't, don't allow the demons to push you, you know, to, to try to fast like Christ fast or fast like Moses fast if we are not firmly, you understand, grounded. And even myself, I would like to do that, but I know, you know, I know that the environment and some other things, if I needed to, I know I could go a long time without food, but there's no need of, 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 of being over-righteous. You see what I'm saying? Christ is our righteousness. Christ is risen, and so I and I continue to rise. You see? Because he had no... He had no just, just when we go through them extremes, you know, it's better like Christ, you know what I'm saying, in order to say, have a spirit come and say, are you good? And you say, yes, I am, I can do this. Yeah, 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 but I said that is not following Christ. And in, in fact, you know, I want you to start out with you. You have you have a Schofield um, reference Bible, bro? I don't have that yet. Okay, okay, okay. But I'm um, but look in your regular Bible. Uh, um, I mean, look in look in the Bible you have, and I want you to check out uh, Matthew chapter four. Read over that again, and 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 and, 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 and this will better. Yeah, yeah, this will better explain. What can occur in such a in such a, a fast of mastery, and why ones need to not um, you know not uh, um, tempt themselves? You know what I mean in that sense. Start out start start out one step. Start out baby steps. In other words, as a newborn child of Abba Kedus. So yeah, chapter four of 